a shootout off the interstate in Crump. That's what police say happened this week, landing Randy Johnson in the hospital with a gunshot wound and a mug shot. Johnson was taken into custody at the hospital after investigators say he shot at the mother of his child and a man. The victim told police the violence started after she showed up to her home with a male friend when Johnson was parked in front of her building. When she attempted to leave, she says Johnson followed her, becoming enraged when he saw her with another man. She drove away, attempting to get on the interstate to escape, but said Johnson began ramming her car with his, finally making it immobile. He's then accused of shooting into the car. At one point, the man with the victim was able to get his gun and shoot back. That shooting, part of the more than 30 police say have played out on Memphis Interstate so far this year. Sadly, the violence familiar to experts. One of the most dangerous times for a victim of domestic violence is actually after the relationship ends. Mm -hmm. And so whether or not they choose to you know, find a new partner, whatever it is, uh, the the former partner, you know, oftentimes has ongoing jealousy or, or control issues. Um, and so one way for them to maintain control is to use violence against the victim or against the new partner. But there are places to get help, like the Family Safety Center and the Shelby County Crime Victims and Rape Crisis Center. But then there are a lot of grassroots organizations, folks in neighborhoods, in certain apartment complexes who are doing really great work to help victims of domestic violence try to escape uh, violent relationships, but also rebuild their lives. Shea Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3. Well, Johnson is in jail tonight on a $50,000 bond. He's due in court tomorrow morning.